fun. We got one better guest sitting down with us today inside studio. Uh, she be content creator and also influencer. She they do things. Uh, they, they use and they change things for the area. The one and only. I know so I go don't see her before for social media. I go don't see her where she they run things. And, it, and anytime where they watch her video, I say ah ah, it's a lie. What's going on? Why? Hey, the one and only. Cassie Rondi, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Nice day, I day. <laughs> you see, I don't even make you drop him like that for me. <laughs> so have fun. How, how, how are you feeling? How are you doing, though? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you. I'm feeling fine. It's good to be back in Nigeria. <laughs> you know, some people don't know, say, as you did like this, they speak pidgin, they speak Yoruba, they drop level. Make we even start. Uh, how you take even decide to even enter that level first? Make we know why. You decide to do things like that. So my husband is Nigerian. Okay. And he's teaching me Yoruba. I always wanted to learn more about his culture. How okay. is it? So yeah, that's how it started. And I was listening to him speaking with his family, mm -hmm. with his friends. Mm -hmm. So that's how it started, actually. Ah. So from there, you're just saying, this thing, I, I believe I can do it. Uh, was, was it hard for you? to get the words first? How did it, were, were people laughing at you at any oh. point? <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard, it's really hard. Even still, when I'm trying to learn a song, mm -hmm. it takes time. Because of course, I speak French. I'm French Canadian. Wow. And even I have some sounds that are really, really different from Yoruba. Yeah, yeah, it's different It's yeah. different, it's different. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. All right, all right. On a, on a see, say, no worry, we'll go see you and the pigeon for you. And I go, yeah, I'm going to check out some of her videos where she put up and make her understand why I talk, say, it go shock you when you see her. Check them out. Let's see. <laughs> all right, and I don't see small, you know, small snippets of what Cassie, if they do. She just vibe Nigerian music inside Moto, they chill, they chill. So, uh, Cassie, a lot of people go feel, say, okay, we know say you like uh, the Nigerian content and things like that. But uh, to decide, say you want to create your own content and they add the Niger vibe inside, how you take even get to that point, so okay, be like saying that way I won't do them. You know, get people who will tell you, say no, now just do the one way you know, say you they do. No stress yourself. That hard is take before you on the other side. Actually, I always wanted to learn more about Nigerian culture mm -hmm. and, uh, and learn more about my husband's culture. Mm -hmm. That's how it started. So I just decided to continue, and I had a lot of positive, uh, positive um, comments yes. from Nigerians. Yes. And it just continued, and since that day, even today, and that posted me. Yeah. And yeah, it's just so positive and so nice to be surrounded by Nigerians. Then mm. I just keep doing. So so far, you 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 never get any negative comments from anybody. Of course, say, of ah, course I do. Why are you trying to be like Nigeria? <laughs> What's wrong? What's of, of course I yeah, do. How do they handle that kind of situation? I just don't listen to them. Hmm. Some people, they, of course, it's not everyone that will be happy of what you are doing or will agree with what you are doing, but yeah. I love what I'm doing. <laughs> I enjoy it, and I will just continue to do what I like to do. So. Okay, so so now you go, you, go do, you go speak pigeon for us where now? Okay. You go speak <laughs> for us. You give, you give us a pigeon level. Make we, make we <laughs> communicate. Maybe we don't say, not be... Not a mistake. So, but how long you don't they do this um, learning of the languages, the pidgin and everything for Nigeria? How long you don't take you to the learner? I, I don't really speak it, to be honest. Okay, the one. I understand very well. Yes, which you yeah, can yeah, speak. yes, now, yes. Okay. Even Yoruba, now I'm trying more to understand it. So, if I stay with my husband's family, they teach me a lot. Okay, so which, which words for Yoruba you feel with this? Baoni, Mwakpa, Olufemi, Eshe, all these all words. All these yes. yeah, yeah. So, you, now, 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 because say, you, you meet your husband, now you make you get this love for Nigerian culture. Yes, please. So, you, you never. Think and before you meet your husband, I say, okay, you go like no waiting Nigerians they do. I used to listen in Canada to a lot of Afrobeats. Okay. And that's how it started. So I decided to move to Ghana. Mm -hmm. And that's where I met him. So I'm based in Ghana, but okay. I have a lot of love for Nigerian culture. I'll be want to ask you about uh, the Ghanaian Jolof and Nigerian Jolof. Ah. Which one you go to talk? Say, <laughs> maybe Which cause one? more problem. <laughs> Which one? Because you don't, you stay for Ghana. You for don't taste Nigerian Jolof. Which one? Uh, go, you go talk, say, hmm. Remember, say your husband is a Nigerian. If yes, you please. pick another side <laughs> now, we go change her for you. So uh, as a matter take B, uh, look, look, looking at the Nigerian culture as the thing take B and everything, um, seeing how things don't they evolve, you feel say this our Nigerian culture will they push them out there enough for people to see? As you, you talk say you be, you be, you be Canadian, you they get you they listen to Afrobeat from that side. 
If you say we they push them enough, make people they enjoy them too. Of course. Hmm. Of course. There's a lot of Canadians that are listening to Afrobeats. Even I used to live also in the US. Okay. Afrobeat is really, really popular in the US. Hmm. And now that I'm in, in Ghana, I can hear it. in Ghana there's Nigerians, music everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you guys are just all over the world. <laughs> It'd be like say our, our, our the love for Nigeria don't they grow yes, like yes, that? Yes. They don't they grow so of far? Course. And seeing how our culture they feel they you know they they cut across now would they look mm -hmm. so. But now you as an individual, we're talking about your 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 social media life now. Where you decide say okay you want to push out there, make people they see. Uh, how is it? Because we know say to keep up with social media life not easy. You no, know, it's not. It, it take a whole <laughs> lot of your time. So yes. how you they manage that one? Being a wife now, putting all these things together, how you they manage that? I'm a French teacher also. Okay. So okay, the so, whole week I'm so, at school teaching. Wow. Yes, so my weeks are really, really... Very so, tight. Yes, yes, hmm. exactly. So I'm, more, I'm doing all these content more the weekend. Okay. So let's say the weekend, my husband and I will just go and create, let's say, three, four videos. Yes. So during the week, I can just go and drop them, and <laughs> that's how it is. So it's a lot of work. Yeah. Yes. Now, looking at how you create the content, how the ideas, they come to you. Shana, you could just see something, or you and your husband just sit down and say, we'll be like, say, this thing will make sense. Make we try them like this. How the ideas, they come to you, where you make your content? It depends. If it's a vibe, let's okay. say if I'm vibing to a song, I need to feel the song. True. So if it's in Yoruba, it would take time for me to learn it yes. and for him to teach me too. <laughs> yes. So let's say in three evenings, I will learn the song and then I will just vibe to it. But if yeah. it's uh, for a company, let's say for a project, it, or anything, yeah, it yeah. needs to... Um, I, I need to really feel that yes, it will be. I will be comfortable to present the product, and it comes with me. It's hmm. my the kind of quality. The kind of quality that, like, that you yes. would like to put out there. Exactly. Now speaking about you putting out there your kind of quality, hasn't uh, she? The request from these companies now never change your style of content by any chance. Maybe the author is okay. We like the way they do like this, but. Make you try something else for us. Has that ever happened to you before? Of course, it happens. Mm -hmm. But I always stay true to myself. Ah, so you're not going to change for anybody? <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm. Even no. if they give you correct money, say, take this money. I, I don't do it actually only for the money. For the money, yeah. yes. I mm. do it really because I love to do it. I love to put Nigerian culture in front. True. And Good. yes, I stay true to myself. Mm. Now, one question where they always ask uh, content creators when they come here. Yes. Now, the pressure, where did they get? Because... You go one post something now, as you post time, you go to check them, say how many views you don't get, how many likes, how yes. many comments. That pressure, you they feel them or you go just do your thing. Either way, you are still showing yourself out there. Are you, the, are you, always, are you ever in that pressure space? It's always there. Hmm. I'm not going to lie to you. It's always there. It's just for you sometimes to just forget about it and just be proud of what you are doing. Yes. And be sure that, yes, I did it. I did it. I did the best I can. Mm -hmm. So... If you don't like it, of course, it's not everyone that will love what True, you're doing. True, definitely. So you need to accept that. Once you accept that, then it's good. All right, make we check out another video from <laughs> Cassie. Make we see as this one take B before I go wrap them up here with him on this conversation. But check this one out. I'm cooking rice. Isn't that happy? What rice is that? Mofada rice. See how good I am. I've been doing that my whole life. Let me blow the dish. Let me blow the when I see where she they cook or father, Cassie, wait, tell me, what you, ne you never do for this country before? Which thing you never go try out, Cassie? Because I feel like say, you don't cook or father rice. You they vibe to Nigerian culture. You they, ah, so why so much uh, uh, involvement? Which other things you don't get involved in for this Nigerian culture where you don't see so? Where you don't decide to try out for Nigerian CB? You see you for there, you they cook rice for pots, where we usually they do <laughs> on yes. top. Ah, ah. Well, it is okay. I said, now, one other question I want to ask you regarding this influencing thing. Now, we say, um, as, as, aside the pressure, you talk to that down, they always they did there to make sure, say, at least you give out uh, the content what you like. Share you, they always think, say, you get some kind of times where you could create content where you could believe, say, this one go blue. And at the end, nobody talk anything about that. Of course. That. <laughs> 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 you ah, but this content, we think, and we think, and we think, and we think, still no happen. That one, they happen to you. Of yeah. course, it happens. So if it happens, what do you go do? When it, when it happen like that, what do you go do about it? Then that? you just learn from it. So you mm. know that all the followers, the people that are following me, the people that are showing me love. Mm -hmm. So with that, I know what they will love and yes. what won't really work for them. Mm. So you just need to take the positive uh, outcoming uh, out of it and you just continue to move and... 
create something else. <laughs> it's well, not always easy. Yes. It's not easy to be yes. a content creator and make sure say you put a bit, a lot of yourself. Now, because you talk and say now only yourself. What thing resonates with you now? You go feel carry commerce. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm doing this. You won't let yourself go. But as it is, uh, we know say. The market, they very big. People, yes. they do things every day. I mean, I got one discussion with one of my friends recently, and I talked to him, how people, they keep, keep up with TikTok or all these uh, other apps where they put all these things. Because back to back to back to back to back, you need to they put out content. And you talk to you be a teacher. So during the week, you they work. For weekends, now you can't run everything together. Exactly. Which time you they take the rest? Now, where you, which time you they rest? <laughs> if you they work for weekend, work for weekday. Which time you the rest? I sleep. That's the moment <laughs> I rest. <laughs> no, no. Only when you're sleeping. But ah. I, I love what I'm doing, so it's not as if it, it's a big work or okay. it's negative when I'm doing it. I love what I'm doing. So mm. the weekend when we go, we just create content, can mm -hmm. create a lot of videos. So yeah. you need to have clothes in the car to be uh, sure hey. that you can change. Ah. Yeah, so it's a lot of things to think, but it's a when full, you love it. It's a full process. Yes. All right, make we check this other video where Cassie do. Make on a see. Say this is not talent. And she don't decide to, you know, to bring Nigerian culture to the world. Make can I check her out. My name, my age, my favorite color. My height, my sign, do I have a lover? What's my nationality? He's some things that inspires me. That is it. Family, friends, food, traveling. <laughs> I see her. I see her. And she should talk up. Canadian, but she loves Nigerian culture. Based on say, her husband and Nigerian man, I show for her. He work. You guys say, no worry. You go learn now. You go learn.